This is a sample from our training at itdvds.com. If you'd like to learn more, please go to itdvds.com. So back in the old days, kind of before uh, Windows used DNS heavily, it used what's called WINS. And if we go to the advanced section here, we could set up a Win server. And Win server provided single label name resolution. So, for example, printer one, and that's it. It would be able to resolve that name, not printer one dot itdvscorp.com, which would be like a fully qualified DNS name. So it's it's called a single label name. And DNS currently uh, helps resolve that the single label names by appending the DNS suffix to make it a fully qualified. Uh, DNS name. But some older applications still need to be able to resolve single label names even without appending a, a DNS suffix. So in order to get rid of wins, uh, Microsoft added what's called a global names zone or global name support to DNS. So to set that up, we can create a, a new forward lookup zone here. And we could do this with PowerShell as well. We can make it a primary zone. We can store it in Active Directory. I'm going to replicate it to all uh, DNS servers in the forest. And we need to call it just global names. Click next. And we cannot allow dynamic updates for this particular zone. It's not supported. Let's go ahead and click finish. And there it is. So now we need to actually turn support for global names on. And to do that, we can use the set dash DNS server global name zone commandlet minus always query set that to true. And we're going to need to run that on each DNS server. So I'll go ahead. I got a PowerShell prompt open to DC02. I'll go ahead and run that same thing. Now we can also use DNS CMD to do the same thing here with the, the slash config or dot slash config. Slash enable global name support. Set that to 1. So these two commands do the same thing. Next we're going to want to go over to our, our DNS console. Of course we could do this with PowerShell as well and create an A record. So you'll notice I'm creating it in my my zone that I'm using for my domain. And maybe the single label name it needs to resolve is just printer. So we're going to create an A record for it. I'll go ahead and add it. And then down here in global names we're going to create a C name record to that A, a record. And a C name record is just an alias. So I'm going to right click, new alias. So it's important to remember, we create C name records in our global name zone. And this is going to be for printer. And we can browse to the uh, where that A record is we created. There it is. And that's it. So now our older applications will be able to resolve just the single label name printer. And for any other single label names that we need to add, again, we just add the A record and then add a C name record in our global name zone. Now one kind of very complex scenario that we may need to know about is if we have another forest and we need this global names uh, zone here to be in both forests. Well, in our other forest, we could go over to our, our main domain that's replicated across the forest and create go to other record and it's going to be an SRV record which points to a particular service and for service we're going to type in underscore global names protocol underscore MSDCS and the host offering this service this is where our uh, our global name zone actually lives so that'll give that other force the ability to resolve those single label names